The COVID-19 pandemic years were a difficult and challenging set of years for people all over the world. From death headlines to constant negative news brought about by the pandemic. This made the world receive the news about the James Webb Space Telescope launched on December 25, 2021 with warmth and excitement. It gave the world and its people some sort of new perspective and something to look forward to in anticipation and exhilaration amidst all the challenges and frustration. The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful optical telescope ever built and sent to space weighing around six tons with a $10 billion cost. The Webb Telescope was designed and developed by NASA engineers in collaboration with the Canadian and European space agencies. The telescope is a huge achievement of two decades in the making, allowing scientists to look at what our universe was like about 200 million years after the Big Bang. For those unaware, the Big Bang is how astronomers explain the way the universe began as a single point before expanding and stretching to grow as large as it is right now. Webb has given scientists new approaches, astonished the public with breathtaking and extraordinary photos of the galaxy and left us wanting more of universe-related content. In this video, we'll be looking at 10 fascinating discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. Here are some fun facts about the telescope. It is very big. Webb is as tall as a three-story building and as long as a tennis court. It is so big that it had to fold origami style to fit inside the rocket before it launched. The telescope unfolded with its sunshield first when it landed in space. It can see through dust. The James Webb Space Telescope sees the universe in light that is invisible to human eyes. This light is called infrared radiation. Firefighters use infrared cameras to see and rescue people through smoke and fires. The Webb Telescope allows scientists to see through dust clouds and see stars and planets developing inside those dust clouds. The telescope is also able to see objects like the first galaxies that are so far away, causing the expansion of the universe to make their light shift from visible to infrared. Peeking inside could lead to exciting new discoveries. Extraordinary stuff. It has a sunshield to help block heat and light from the sun. The telescope's cameras are sensitive to heat from the sun, just like you might put on a hat to protect your eyes from the sun. Webb has a sunshield to protect itself from the sun, too. The telescope's sunshield is about the size of a tennis court. It uses giant gold-coated mirrors to see the universe. Space telescopes see by using mirrors to collect and focus light from distant stars. The bigger the mirror, the more details the telescope can see. The Webb Telescope has 18 small mirrors that fit together like a puzzle, made of beryllium and coated in gold. The gold coating is about 600 atoms thick, weighs 48 grams, and the total gold volume is the size of a golf ball. Why use gold? Gold reflects red light better than any other metal. Before the launch, the mirrors folded up inside the rocket, then unfolded to form one large mirror in orbit once it landed in space. The telescope hunts for signs of life on the other planets. Our solar system isn't the only home for planets. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets orbiting stars which are called exoplanets. Webb will help study the atmospheres of exoplanets. Could the atmospheres of some exoplanets hold the building blocks for life? Are exoplanets habitable? We will know when the telescope sends in more data. The optical system. The optical system of the telescope is so good that it can clearly see a small object 24 miles or 38 kilometers away and a big object from 340 miles or 547 kilometers away. 
NASA's the James Webb Space Telescope is a pathfinder of scientific discovery, generating awe-inspiring insights about galaxies, planets, stars, and all sorts of cosmic objects. The telescope is at the beginning of its cosmic journey as it is slated for a five-year operation in space, launched on December 25, 2021. Termed the successor to the esteemed Hubble Space Telescope, Webb is breaking ground in science as people around wait in anticipation for amazing new discoveries to share on the World Wide Web. Here are some 10 fascinating discoveries of the Webb. Stars born in the Pillars of Creation The Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula has long been one of the most iconic images of the Hubble Space's telescope. For those unaware, the Hubble Space Telescope is a space telescope that was launched into the low Earth orbit in 1990 and remains in operation till date. It was not the first space telescope, but it is one of the largest, most versatile and renowned telescopes used both as a vital research tool and as a public relations boost for astronomy. Though the Hubble Telescope captured only impressive clouds, the creation of stars happening within them was hidden now, Webb's infrared imaging has managed to capture the stars in the form of numerous protostars during their creation, appearing as tiny red dots against the smoky backdrop of the pillars. These collections of dust and gas are stars being born. The Hubble Space Telescope first captured the pillars in 1995 and again in 2014. While the images captured by Hubble were groundbreaking at the time, Webb Telescope's capabilities have blown that image away with much more detail presented. These stars are seen forming in the clouds in the heightened transparency of the gas and dust create a three-dimensional understanding of the structure. It's a phenomenal image that further builds on the groundwork from Hubble and showing how far science and technology have come. Stefan's Quintet and Black Hole Revelations the Stefan's Quintet is a visual grouping of five galaxies, best known for being prominently featured in the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals Stefan's Quintet in a new light. This image covers about one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It contains over 150 million pixels and is constructed from almost 1,000 separate file images. The information from Webb provides new insights into how galactic interactions may have driven galaxy evolution in the early universe. With its powerful, infrared vision and extremely high spatial resolution, Webb shows never-before-seen details in this galaxy group. Sparkling clusters of millions of young stars and starburst regions of fresh star birth grace the image. Sweeping tails of gas, dust, and stars are being pulled from several of the galaxies due to gravitational interactions. Most dramatically, Webb captures huge shock waves as one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, smashes through the cluster. Together, the five galaxies of Stefan's Quintet are also known as the Hickson Compact Group, 92HCG92. Although called a quintet, only four of the galaxies are truly close together and caught up in a cosmic dance. The fifth and leftmost galaxy, called NGC 7320, is well in the foreground compared with the other four. NGC 7320 resides 40 million light-years from Earth, while the other four galaxies are about 290 million light-years away. This is still fairly close in cosmic terms compared with more distant galaxies billions of light years away. Studying such relatively nearby galaxies like these helps scientists better understand structures seen in a much more distant universe. The image captured by the Webb telescope has brought new light on what this constellation of galaxies can teach us, specifically discovering the secrets of black holes. Although an image of galaxies together is impressive, what can't be seen in the images is of most interest to scientists. A supermassive black hole hides within the topmost galaxy, and this black hole has a mass 24 million times than that of our Sun and sends out light energy equivalent to 40 billion suns. Thanks to the advanced techniques of Webb, 
scientists have been able to study the hot gases that surround the black hole and measure the velocity of its outflow in detail. It also helps them understand the speed at which these supermassive black holes feed and grow. Reimaging the Phantom Galaxy Though the Phantom Galaxy is difficult to find in the night sky, its brilliance is far from invisible, especially when captured with Webb. Hubble's optical image of the galaxy shows the galaxy's perfect spiral structure and its distribution of stars, extending outward from a radiant center. But a new Webb image reveals fiber-like structures of heat emitting dust and gas, emanating from a bright center rendered in vivid electric blue. The image sheds infrared light on star-forming regions scattered amongst the galaxy's spiral arms. A mesmerizing composite image combining the Hubble Space Telescope and Webb images features aspects of both optical and infrared observations of the galaxy. Researchers at the European Space Agency helped create the composite image as part of an international project. The ESA is utilizing Webb, Hubble, and several ground-based telescopes to capture 19 nearby star-forming galaxies in the infrared. The most distant galaxies ever. When Webb started sending images back to Earth, scientists gathered massive information about huge discoveries. Researchers found two new galaxies, one of which contained the most distant starlight ever seen dating back a good number of 350 million light years after the beginning of the universe. Our universe is said to be 13 billion years old. These observations just make your head explode. This is a whole new chapter in astronomy. It's like an archaeological dig, when suddenly you find a lost city or something you didn't know about. It's just staggering. Marco Castellano of the National Institute for Astrophysics in Rome. How is it possible to observe such distant galaxies? Webb's first image of an exoplanet. For the first time, scientists used NASA's Webb to take a direct image of a planet outside our solar system. The exoplanet is a gas giant, which means it has no rocky surface and cannot be habitable. NASA released the image as seen through four different light filters in September 2022. The release shows how Webb's powerful infrared light can easily capture worlds beyond our solar system, pointing the way to future observations that will reveal more information than ever before about exoplanets. The exoplanet in Webb's image is about 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter, and these observations can only help narrow that down even further. Astronomers discovered the planet in 2017 using the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, and took images of it using short infrared wavelengths of light. Webb's view at longer infrared wavelengths reveal new details that ground-based telescopes would not be able to detect because of the intrinsic infrared glow of Earth's atmosphere. Webb's first capture of an exoplanet already hints at future possibilities for studying distant worlds. Since the planet is about 100 times farther from its host star than Earth is from the Sun, it is sufficiently distant from the star that Webb can easily separate the planet from the star in the image. Webb's near-infrared camera NIRCOM and mid-infrared instrument MIRI are both equipped with coronagraphs, which are sets of tiny masks that block out starlight, enabling Webb to take direct images of certain exoplanets like this one. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, slated to launch later this decade, will demonstrate an even more advanced coronagraph. Taking direct images of exoplanets is challenging because stars are so much brighter than planets. The exoplanet in this image is 10,000 times fainter than its host star in the near-infrared and a few thousand times fainter in the mid-infrared. In each filter image, the planet appears as a slightly differently shaped blob of light. That is because of the particulars of Webb's optical system and how it translates light through the different optics. While this is not the first direct image of an exoplanet taken from space, Hubble has captured direct exoplanet images previously, but Webb's image points the way forward for exoplanet exploration. 
The exoplanet's atmosphere. An exoplanet is a planet that's outside our solar system, and the first ever exoplanet was observed in 1992. In August 2022, NASA revealed an exciting discovery thanks to the Webb telescope. Webb had captured the first evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere outside our solar system. Orbiting a sun-like star 700 light-years from Earth resides a giant planet roughly the mass of Saturn and the size of Jupiter. The planet is called WASP-39b. First discovered in 2011, WASP-39b orbits close to its sun, making it extremely hot with an average temperature of 900 degrees Celsius. A team from John Hopkins University confirmed the presence of carbon dioxide in WASP-39b's atmosphere. This is something no observatory has accomplished before. In November 2022, new readings from the Webb telescope produced a more extensive list of what exoplanets are made of, including atoms, molecules, and active chemistry in clouds. This type of data always goes a long way to help scientists discover what makes up an exoplanet's atmosphere and unlock new levels of exoplanet exploration. Glimpsing Titan's Cloud Titan is the name given to the planet Saturn's moon. Titan has rocks made of ice water, as well as rivers, lakes, and seas made of liquid methane and ethane. Titan is also the only moon in our solar system to have a thick atmosphere dotted with methane clouds. Scientists got a glimpse of some of those clouds in November 2022 when Webb captured atmospheric data from the moon. They eventually found that the telescope captured not one but two clouds, including one over the moon's largest sea, Kraken Mare. After observations, scientists noticed a cloud over the Kraken Mare Sea in the same place, just a different shape, indicating that the cloud either changed or another cloud moved into the same spot. Scientists expect more data like this to help them understand Titan's haze and discover new gases in the moon's atmosphere. The Secrets of the Southern Ring Nebula Scientists always thought of the Southern Ring Nebula as rather unremarkable because the nebula was simply a dying star, called a white dwarf, which had expelled its outer layers. Scientists also knew that another non-dying star, part of a binary system, was largely obscured beneath the brightly lit gas. But Webb's stunning image of the nebula, released as part of its first images and data, made it clear that it wasn't that simple. Webb imaged the cloud with two of its instruments, NIRCOM and the MIRI. With MIRI, researchers saw that the white dwarf wasn't invisible, as they'd expected in that wavelength but glowing red, surrounded by a haze of cool gas. Where did the gas come from? The only logical explanation was that the nebula hit a third star, which was the source of the gas. The telescope's main camera also captured intriguing shells around the out edges of the nebula. Scientists think a third star, somewhere between the two known stars, could have caused the ripple-like shells. We all think that gas and dust we see thrown all over the place in the Southern Ring Nebula must have come from that one star, but it was tossed in very specific directions by the companion stars. Joel Kastner, an astronomer at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York, said in a statement, Hidden star formation as galaxies collide. One of Webb's strengths as an infrared telescope is its ability to see through dust revealing things hidden from telescopes like Hubble, which uses mostly visible light. When Webb captured an image of two galaxies colliding, it saw something Hubble had missed, an area of intense star formation which scientists say is producing stars 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. In the new image, the merging galaxies called IC 1623 contain an area of star formation that shines so bright with infrared radiation that it makes Webb's image just incredible. The area makes up a completely new layer of the image, hidden from Hubble behind a thick layer of dust. Scientists also think that the merging of the galaxies, which are about 270 million light years away from the Earth, may also be creating a supermassive black hole, which is not visible in the Webb image. The Cosmic Fingerprint one of the most sinister images captured by the Webb Telescope was released in October 2022 and labeled the Cosmic Fingerprint. 
While the image is fragile, what causes the rings is just fascinating. The image shows at least 17 concentric rings made of cosmic dust ejecting from two stars at the center, and these stars are 5,000 light-years away from Earth. Every eight years, the stars' orbits bring them close enough so their stellar winds can meet. When this happens, streams of gas are compressed forming dust, which is sent off into space creating the pattern we are seeing on the image. Showing its age for each ring, an orbital cycle has been completed as we are gifted with a spectacular show. The power of the James Webb Telescope is on full display here as previous images of this phase showed just two rings, but now more than 17 can be observed from the image. The James Webb Space Telescope offers a lot of in-depth understanding into our existence and the future of astronomical research, just a year after its launch. According to science researchers, all these images barely explain what the universe and galaxies are capable of, for there's a whole lot of quintessence we may never get to visualize. Although Webb has a minimum duration of five years, it is expected to operate far beyond that so we can assume that researchers and astronomers will keep analyzing data for many years to come. Can you guess what will be discovered in the years to come? One thing we know for sure is it will reshape our understanding of the universe entirely. What a privileged time to be alive. Did you learn anything new from this video? If you liked the video, please subscribe, like and share it, and don't forget to click on the notification bell, so you don't miss our next video. See you soon on Mazel Media, information at the heart of the world.